Hi, today we're going to do the Ohm's Law and Resistive Circuits experiment. This experiment is going to be divided into two parts. For the first part, we're going to test whether a resistor obeys or does not obey Ohm's Law, which can be stated as V equals IR. And for the second part of the experiment, we're going to investigate the circuit characteristics of resistors in series and the resistors in parallel. What we need for this experiment is a power supply, a set of resistors, an ammeter, voltmeter, a light bulb, and the wiring. So for the wiring for this experiment, you're going to connect the positive terminal of the power supply to resistor A, then from resistor A to the ammeter, and then the ammeter is connected back to the power supply. You're also going to connect the voltmeter to resistor A in parallel. We're going to start by constructing a voltage versus current data, uh, data table and we're going to slowly increase the power supply and that in turn is going to change the voltage and the current read by these devices and as we slowly in increase them for every time you increase it you are going to record the voltage and the current and you're going to do this about 10 times until you get 10 data points. Using your data points, you're going to construct a voltage versus current graph, and from that graph, you're going to be able to gain information about the resistance. You will also be able to find out whether the resistor obeys Ohm's law or it doesn't. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to replace the resistor with a light bulb, like that, and you are going to repeat the same steps that you did before by increasing the power supply and seeing how that changes the voltage and the current. And then from that data table you're going to construct another voltage versus current graph and using that information you're going to determine whether the light bulb uh, obeys Ohm's law or does not, i.e. is it ohmic or not ohmic. For part two, the first thing that we're going to do is connect the resistors in series. So you want to connect the power supply to the ammeter. Then from the ammeter, you're going to connect it to resistor A. Then from resistor A to resistor B. And from resistor B to resistor C. And then from resistor C all the way back to the power supply. Then you're going to turn the power supply on and set the voltage to about 4 volts. And to measure the voltage, you're going to measure the voltage across A, resistor B, and resistor C. So after you've recorded the measured values, you're going to find the calculated values of I, VA, VB, and VC using these equations right here and then you're going to find the percentage error. For this part, we're going to connect the resistors in parallel. As shown in this diagram, you're going to connect the positive and negative terminals of the power supply to both ends of A, and then continue the connection as shown here. And this is how it's going to look like. In order to measure the current across the resistor A, you're going to replace the connection between A and B with the ammeter. And you're going to do the same thing as shown in this diagram for B and C by replacing the by replacing the connection with an ammeter at all of these points. And when you do this, the voltage should be constant. You recorded your data. You're going to use these equations here to calculate the theoretical values of current, and then compare those to the measured values by using the percentage error.